Hey guys, how's it going? This is just a quick video of a pretty crazy hunt that we had about 10 years ago. Um, we're over at our cousin's place in New South Wales, in the New England area, uh, for their wedding. And um, we're pretty keen to have a go at some pigs, which we've only had only done at that stage a, a couple of times before. So yeah, we took the bows over, had a pretty big night on the wedding, as you do. Um, and then, yeah, for the next couple of days, we sort of spend our time, yeah, having a look for some pigs. So. We did find a couple of smaller ones early on in the trip and we got a couple each, which was good. But yeah, we we're definitely keen on trying to find a couple mature boars. So towards the end of the trip, we did um, work it out that there was a particular stubble paddock that there was a fairly big mob of pigs um, hanging out on in in the dark and they'd make their way off in early morning. So um, yeah, one this particular morning, crazy, crazy windy day, hence the audio for this is no good um, and a dodgy camera so the voiceover is going to have to do. The sun was only just coming up, crazy foggy, we saw about 50 odd pigs out on this paddock, um, made a bit of a plan to try and ambush them instead of um, getting out in the open. So we sort of made our way out to the only cover and uh, waited for them to come off. So once the sun got up um, to a certain point they just started bailing from the paddock and it all happened really, really quickly. I um, ended up picking out the biggest boar of the whole mob and about a 50 meter shot. This this wind was like 50 to 60 k's an hour, so it was like ridiculous holding my bow up, but got a shot off and somehow got narrow into this boar and he waddled off into the long grass and bedded down. If pigs were laying on their guts, they're probably still alive. Um, so we found him bedded up and he was right in the middle of this thick stuff so we both edged up we didn't want him to get away um hindsight hunts a lot of pigs since bad move going in on him in that scenario but um we were a bit green around the gills um so we thought we'd need to get a, a follow-up shot on him so kobe had the best angle from where he was um and he's he put another arrow into this boar from about oh seven meters away the boar, as it sprung straight up, whirled around, knew something had had a go at him, and there's Kobe standing there right in the open. I've pulled my bow back at full draw, but the pig's on Kobe in a split second, and Kobe's done the old the dummy step. The pig has not fallen for it at all and just bowled him straight over. As he's done that, Kobe's just swung his bow straight into the pig's head, and like it, like it was a, as he called it, his grey nickels, a cricket bat. The quiver, his quivers just exploded with arrows and he's fallen over. So the pigs then reversed up and basically had, ran at him full speed and just ripped him up the leg. And until then I was pissing myself laughing, um, but I knew it was turning pretty bad. So Kobe somehow got to his feet, started running straight at me. I was swearing at him to run away because I was at full draw. So the pigs then lined me up and as he's come in, I've just shot him straight between the eyes. The arrow's actually deflected off of his head, but the power of it was enough to sort of get him all, all dizzy. So I managed to get another one into him, but crazy, crazy um, couple of seconds. It felt like it was going for like half an hour, but the adrenaline was definitely pumping. This is my first proper bore. And um, yeah, to have that happen, pretty crazy. So yeah, once the adrenaline wore off and the ball was down, we looked at um, Cobe's leg, had camo ripped up the shin, um, yeah, a fair bit of blood, so I had to get the first aid kit out and look after that. Um, made it back to the house, got an absolute grilling from, yeah, all the girls, um, all the family were there from that wedding, um, and they took us into hospital to get it looked at. Unfortunately, the doctor seemed like he was a bit of a greenie, he cared more about the pig, um, than Cobe's leg, so it was just rough as guts doing these stitches. So yeah, poor old Cobe had about 15 up his shin, um, and yeah, heap of anaesthetic to puff up the shin so they could actually get the stitches in. So yeah, it was pretty rough. I definitely felt guilty um, for what had all happened because it was actually obviously my boar that he'd followed up for me, and yeah, it, it went him, not me. But um, yeah. That was the unfortunate part, um, and he's still got a pretty gnarly scar to show from that. Once we got back from the hospital, the uncle had uh, the boar picked up from the paddock, and 
he had him on the tractor so we put him over the scales he had there and it went 113 kilos so pretty massive boar in anyone's books especially when it's like your first proper boar um and yeah it probably wasn't the right one to be uh, having a tangle with but Cobe definitely come off second best um with that part of the deal um we obviously got the boar which is a good result but yeah not so great uh the injury so yeah unfortunately all the audio from that morning's all stuffed because it's like 60k an hour wins um and we didn't have any footage of it all happening as well before gopros um were around but yeah it would have been pretty epic to get on there but all the same thought it was a pretty cool video to share um yeah hope the voiceover was all right um and yeah hope you enjoyed the video cheers